And you shall tread upon serpents and scorpions, and no manner of the enemy shall harm you. Alrighty. You know, sometimes, even though that's a promise from God's word, uh, angels go, or excuse me, fools go where angels dare to tread. Many times we aren't always thinking. We try our best to think. Uh, we've got, I said all that to say this, we've got uh, rattlesnakes all over the place. Who knows how many are out here. Although I know three years in a row we've come across uh, the five to six foot range. Uh, first year being 57 and a half inches, second year 65 and a half inches. This one was, oh, wait a minute, first one was 56 and a half inches. Okay. Last year was 65 and a half inches, and this year was, was 57 and a half inches. It wasn't quite as thick as the first two, but it's still a pretty good size. Uh, I had, I think, four or five rounds of four or five year old snake that big. Boy, it was about, was, you know, if we could have captured any of them live, we would have. But unfortunately, uh, they just didn't see it that way, and, and things got out of hand. But my wife, uh, and then we had a fourth one that went under the uh, cabin that never came out that we know of. But it's been about two weeks now, and it still hasn't showed, so hopefully it just crawled off somewhere. And not <laughs> just another cabin. But it looked like it could have been a pretty good size one, especially from the sound of it. But it boogied uh, out of my grasp. Uh, I didn't have anything to pick it up with at the time. In fact, I was totally defenseless about to take a a, uh, a cat bath <laughs> on the patio and uh, it was in the all natural and so I had no way of, of uh, protecting myself from some people they claim just grab them by the tail and snap them or smack them down and for that one and some claim they can grab them by the back of the head but who wants to take a chance like that the fact is there's no anti-venom in the area and there's a lot of reports of that if you would take a stun gun to the, the, the bite, you could very possibly save your life by, uh, uh, well, stunning the venom, I suppose. It neutralizes the venom somehow? Somehow. Of course, not approved in America, but in third world countries, they use them all the time and have almost 100% success with them, they say. Right. Now, she wants me to be a guinea pig today and test it on myself. Uh now, on is on, and off is off. Okay. I don't know where to put it, where it'll be the least. No, I wouldn't put it on, on the underside of the arm, because that's a well, delicate. Well, kind of hard to put it anywhere good. Um, uh, golly. Um, on a knuckle? Maybe on my arthritic knuckle. Uh, suppose, you know, get, usually you get... Sit on the on the on the ankle or the, the hand or the the wrist. They say because it's when you're reaching and not thinking, or walking where you shouldn't walk, where fools you know, or angels don't even go. And so then you're out of God's protection, is trampling on them, especially if you're foolhardy enough to try to pick one up without the proper gear on, which we have no intention of ever doing. But better safe than sorry. And even for bee stings, and uh, I've already been stung twice by a scorpion, and I managed to just psych that out, and and uh, some some have screamed and cried and spoken tongues, and <laughs> but anyway, like little girly men. Now anyway. people that are allergic to bee stings to the point of going into anaphylactic shock and have used will. this yeah. instead, and it completely alleviated their need for the EpiPen or anything else. Somebody that, the guy we bought it from gets real bad migraines, and he puts this thing on the back of his neck where the migraines come from, and it gets rid of his migraines. Hmm. It's only 25,000 volts. Uh, he's trying to be brave here. We want to see just <laughs> how... Um... <Jeez>. <laughs> <laughs> Well, why didn't you go first there? No, that's okay. You're the the big strong man. Remember that wrestled Hulk Hogan in 1982 and he didn't have, have no a, fear. He didn't, he didn't have a uh, stun gun. <laughs> <laughs> um, See, he's a guinea pig because I want to know how bad it hurts before I try it. 
All righty then. Uh, all hey, I had a baby. I had several, two babies, and so actually went through labor three times and that's suffered a through that. Pain where oh no, you have no clue. Don't even tell me. It's progressive, is what I'm saying. <laughs> this is quick and gets it over with. Oh, really? So probably, I wouldn't know if I put it on your hand, but no, oh, well, put it wherever you want. Oh here, I got bit there. Right no, wait, here. there's a beef line around me. Ooh, let's zap in. All righty then. And what if I can't get it off? Well, you <laughs> Well, what? You just take your finger off the button that you're pressing. What if I can't? Why couldn't you? I mean... It won't put that hand in spasm, will it? I don't know. Don't play with it. Well, you got to make sure that I know how to do it. For that quick burst. Okay. All righty now. Are we ready, folks? I, she's, boy, she just loves to see people in pain. She's no. a masochist, I suppose. No. And uh, how many people do you know would actually send themselves with a stun gun? Oh, here we go. Oh, God. Let me take That's close. insane. This is totally insane. No, it's not. It could uh, save a life, and we need to know ahead of time how bad or how not bad it is. Crazy oh, not, no. How stupid. Oh. Uh, yeah. I really don't like the shocking developments that are going on. I mean, you let that doctor shock you with that stupid little machine. Right. It hurt really, well, really bad. It really hurts. Yeah, and he got hit with that a few times accidentally. When right, and it was terrible. And I've I've touched an electric fence accidentally, but to purposely do it seems pretty pretty insane. To tell you the truth, it really seems insane to me. It really does. Okay. All righty then. She didn't I anticipate him going into some kind of syndrome or shock and then foaming at the mouth, so she did. And really well, if you do, I guess I could shock you until you come out of it. Oh, no, that wouldn't oh, work. Oh, yeah, very funny. Well, I'm not sure where to put this. I will leave that. <laughs> Children, don't try this at home. Don't get too close to me. You might hit the phone and knock it across the rocks and Whatever. break it. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> I'm not doing this. That's insane. Come on. I'm not. What do you mean, come on? You think it's that easy to do? Do it. All righty. I got a really stiff neck, and I thought that, well, maybe this will loosen my neck up. Now let's give it a try. Come on. What's going on here? You played with it too many times. Ran the battery down. Oh, I did. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Get this with. Ready? Huh. Hmm. Not that bad. Do it on your arm, then. The other side. Hmm. Put it on your arm. It just went back and did that. Hmm. Very wonderful. Fix that sore. Oh! It definitely got in there. Mm -hmm. huh. It was like about... Hmm. On that part. I guess there's two seconds. Maybe the hair was in the way, too, so it wasn't just a little prick there. But it did, uh, hmm. Was it worse than Maybe, it? like, about on a half cycle. But, see, she did it to where it would do a solid surge until you jumped and all that. So, so the doctor was worse than what this does? Yeah, when she did it on a solid thing, yeah. Was this worse than getting accidentally hit by the fly zapper? No. Well, hmm, different, more of kind of like a buffered thing, I think.
Hmm. It's not that bad. You could do it. It's it's not it's not bad. I think it's because of the. It's less than your your little thing that you put on you. What little thing? <laughs> I'm feeling a little sore. Then feeling a little sore. And uh, kids don't do this at home, okay? And don't do it to your pets. Any moron that does this to their pets needs to be zapped with a, something much stronger. Okay, I felt it actually go down the thing. So it does work on your nervous system, apparently on your nerves, because I felt, yeah, it was just like when she would do a thing there. Yeah, in the case of her thing there, a person would have no problem going, uh, 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 yeah. Now for a snake bite, the people that do use this for snake bites say that you have to do it like three to five times, but it right. supposedly completely stops all the pain and swelling from the snake bite really fast if you do it right away. Now if you wait an hour or so, it's going to take longer, but still. And this guy that sold it says he knows, a, well, a doctor that's dead now, I guess, but he used to have a website, and he used this exclusively for brown recluse bites. Said that he, it completely neutralized the brown recluse bites, but he said that um, um, even people that got it like a year ago and it kept flaring back up and it would eat away more at your tissue when it flares up, that even using it on those people that never got it the first time, that it stopped from getting them from getting flare-ups from then on. Maybe some people don't think this is an actual thing we're just putting on. Can you see the probes right there? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Watch. Did anybody see that? I saw it. Okay. Now, do you want to do it on yourself, or do you want me to do it real quick? I don't know. Let me do it. Okay, he's going to do it to me because I cannot press the button. I just can't make myself press the button. I keep thinking of static electricity, shock, and oh, God, here it comes. Okay, God, that was funny. It's just like a funny <laughs> bone thing, it but, it's not, but it's not, not as harsh as a okay, funny Okay, do it again. Do it up higher. Yeah, this doesn't, this doesn't hurt at all, folks. No, that's the weird thing of it. I guess if you press it, went, well, yeah, because they know. say it. Okay, just right, but nobody does quickly, that. quickly. Uh, and okay, and thousand or hundred even have to go like that in the side of somebody's neck on that crowded thing or under their thing where it says like that for and hold on to. They don't make them sixty and eighty thousand for stuff like that. They make them eight hundred, eight million volts and stuff oh, like really? that now. Yeah, because it takes a lot of this type of... This is 25,000 volts. Yeah, low amperage takes a lot to, like, knock somebody And it's the one that the guy that came up with this idea in the first place recommended like using a 25,000 volts. They say don't go over 60,000 because you won't, it'll hurt and you won't want to stun yourself if you go that high. And I didn't think I could find one less than 80,000, and then all of a sudden here I find this guy that's got these 25,000 ones. There's even supposedly a guy in Bartlesville, Oklahoma, I think, that has one for 20,000 volts. This is like $60, though, and I couldn't get a hold of them. This is only $27 plus, we'll plus, one last time. Okay. plus $6 shipping. I don't know what will happen. We'll do it one last time. Okay. Okay. It's not doing it. Used up the battery? 